Hello everyone, welcome back for another video tutorial. For this video set, it's going to start with Native Script V app result, and we are going to start with part number one, talking about app minimal structure. Now, the first thing we want to do today is to introduce how to use um, playgrounds from the net. So go ahead and type in Native Script playground, and it's going to navigate us to Okay, the links that have play native script dot org. So click on it. Now, in order to start working with your new projects for this semester, we will focus our study for VJS as the framework for this native script. So whenever you can, I mean, if you want to create a new project, then you can go to the new select and S and VJS. You can see that there are many other frameworks that uh, are available for native script as well. Now the one that we use is VJS. And the first time when it's opened it up, it's going to allow you to scan for the um, QR code. So go ahead and install your playground and preview for native script on your mobile devices. And we did this in the class together. Okay, by scanning this, then it's going to enter um, the real-time live okay application load so you can see changes when you make changes over here okay but since this video is made for my local computers so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this on um, local file projects so whatever you do it will be identical to whatever I will do right here except that um, I will run my program on the um, emulator here. Okay, so in your case, you can test that with your mobile device and using playgrounds. But in my case, I'm going to do it here in my local computers. But the code will be identical. Now, um, the first thing I would like to talk about is the component architectures. Now, every component, every UI that you use to display it on your application is based on what we call the V file. The extension is .vue. All right. So for your um, application folder here, you can see that you have um, two files. One is called app.css. The other is app.js. And you also have another subfolder called components. We're going to go one by one. Now the first file, app.css, is there so that you can apply the project file styling. OK, we're going to come back and look at this later. The second file is for app.js. So this is the one that actually used for boost up your applications. And you can see that uh, what they do is inside the script, they import this object V from this library. That's the standard for VJS. Okay. And also now they also import these components from this file. Now to refer to your um, Okay, imagine that this file is located in this directory. Okay, so if you want to say you want to import another file in another directory, then we start with dot slash to say that, okay, the current location of this folder. And now we use the slash to say that we want to navigate to another folder names components and inside that folder, then we want to reference to the name of the file. And you can see that we don't need to put extension.vue right there, just put the name of the file. Now by um, importing these components, okay, then we can insert this component into our view. So basically the first time when you open your app, it's going to show your first page. So the hello world is basically the application page. And in this case, you need to also start it up by using the command new v that take an object, okay? An object here is uh, basically having two basic information. The first information is about template, and the second information is components. Uh, the first information is used to hold how the structure of your application look like. It's half a single frame right now, and inside the frame, we say that we want to um, lay down the hello world in this frame so that you can see the application running. Okay, so in this case also, as you can see in my emulator, it shows that I have a page from this. 
Now, um, also for the first time, when you want to introduce that component for this, you also have to put hello world objects that you import from this library inside this information object as well. Okay, that's the requirement. And once this command is issued, we say, hey, could you please go ahead and start it? All right, so that is the basics startup for your application. Now let's take a look at your first component hello world.v here. The first time when you create the new projects is going to uh, give you this minimal structure. Okay, we're gonna go from scratch and then what we are going to do is we're gonna use um, instead of using playground as you can see this is almost identical to my local setup here so that I can show your result in, in uh, show the app result in my local emulator here. Okay, but whatever I do here will be almost identical to um, the playground. Only different would be whenever you want to add something here for component, you click over here, then select add V. But in my case, I have to do it manually here, which is fine. I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, and after the midterm exam, we are going to switch from playground to local setup like this as well. Okay, all right. Now let's talk about the minimal structure for your first components. As you can see now, I have local setup with the same um, application folder here. Also, don't worry about something else. Let's focus on the app folder. Now inside the app folders, I have um, two files just like what we have here in playgrounds. We have app CSS and app JS. We also have component folders and um, inside this uh, folder we have home.vs. Now it's different as you can see um, it was created as hello world but I renamed this to be home. Now whenever you rename your component for your startup app then you should also do the same thing for your um, import. So instead of hello world okay instead of hello world here you can see that now it's become home and um, the file name is no longer hello world, but it is home, so you have to use home, okay? All right, uh, but you can keep using hello world if you like, but in my case, I just want to rename it such that it's meaningful to my application, that this is my home page, okay? And also, whenever you make changes for your component names uh, for just the, the bootstrap page, then you have to put uh, the name, the new one, right here, and the component as well, okay? All right, now we go from here. Then what else? So after you understand about this startup process, then the second step is to learn the minimal structure of this. Now to get the minimal structure of this, there are three sections. The first section coming with uh, what we call template. Okay, so this is a section that we put our declaration, the UI components, how to lay down your component on the UI, okay? And the second section is going to consist of script. And inside this script, as you can see, when you type in, it's going to show you um, an empty component. And don't worry about the output here because we haven't finished our declaration in these sections. Okay, but just to let you know that um, in the script, we have to create an object, and we have to export this object so that this component is available. Inside this object, there are two minimal structure um, sections. One is called data. The data is the functions of put parentheses and uh, brackets. The second section is methods, is an object. So we put it this way. And also now uh, for data sections, we need to return an object. This is actually uh, the place that we put put um, components, variable, or information here. Okay, this is the location that we put components components um, methods okay we talk about this later now we are going to fix this okay um, how to fix this well we have to supply the minimal structure for your application page so any page would have this tags in there so beginning then the end of the page okay and inside the page itself also we need to have action bar so action bar and um, we should have title equal to so whatever you want to put I want to put the same thing for the file component so I put home and the class declaration will be for action bar which is the built-in class 
All right, and also you need to have spec layout so that is the minimal structure all right so after you have all this okay uh, the next step is we are going to start adding component into this layout imagine that uh, the page is like uh, it's just like a single page with the action bar at the top the things that go below stack layout is just like a dip tag okay so we can go ahead and put for example label tag here with the text value equal to um, label number one and then we close the tag here and save for it now I think I might lost connection with this let me check my okay yeah it's already closed the connection so let me relearn this real quick so this has happened to the emulators but if you run it on your real device that's, then you should not have experienced this okay I mean you do have this error but whenever you reset this in your playground, I mean right here, then the program in your application will automatically restart and then uh, you know make changes. Now since I'm making this on the local, then it's going to take some time though. So while we are waiting for this, okay, um, let me go further. Um, now as I told you that we have three different sections. One is for template, the other is script, the other is another section is for style okay so as you can see when I have communication back on okay so um, now it's give us um, the paste structure with uh, the action bar at the top I also have title when I make changes here just like when you did in uh, when you do it in playground it's good going to automatically apply changes here so for example let me say first page and save it Okay, it's going to take some time communication between um, this server and this program. All right, so I can set it back for home. Okay, so now as you can see, this is the minimal structure for um, your first application. For the next video tutorial, we will start adding more um, UI components and we are going to talk about the layout engineering as well. Thank you for watching.